everybody so today I thought I'd do a tutorial for this look and this is a look that I've been a little bit obsessed about since I got this new Dazzled Shadow from MAC from the Ladisco collection and it's called Try Me On. It's a lovely sort of teal colour and it has some gold reflects on it and it's just absolutely stunning and my idea was to wear it with like sort of a purpley mauve crease and I thought it would just look really nice together and I'm pretty pleased with the results. So the first photos there with the bright pink lip I actually wore this look out last night and then this is the look today and I've actually done it with a more nude sort of lip. So um, I just thought I'd show you some photographs first rather than put them at the end and then you can kind of get an idea whether you might want to hang around and see how I did it. And I'm using all MAC shadows in this one today. I'm using the new shadow from the Disco collection and I'm also using a couple of the palettes, some of the MAC Times 9, um, mainly the purple and amber and I'm also using the cool neutrals palette. So if you want to see how I did this then please keep on watching. So the first thing I'm showing here is the MAC Compact Mirror. I love this mirror, it was £9 so it's not cheap but it's a really good size and I use this every day for my makeup so I just wanted to quickly throw that in there. Um, but I'm starting off this look by using Quarry and this is from the Amber Times 9 palette and I'm just using the um, Neve Cosmetics brush here just to get that into the crease area and I'm just using a windshield wiper motion backwards and forwards to give it a nice blended finish. Then moving on to Scandalized by Rimmel. This is the shade Blamed Blue, which I think is 009. It's a beautiful teal color. This is a lovely waterproof eyeshadow stick. It's really creamy and glides on, and it makes a really perfect base, particularly if you're putting on a shadow that does have quite a lot of glitter or shimmer content. It just helps the shadow stick a lot better to whatever's underneath, and then it just lasts a lot longer on the eyelid, I find. Next I'm taking this nameless Neve Cosmetics brush that was sent to me as a freebie from Beauty Chamber with one of my orders and I'm just using that really to blend out the edges of that before I go in to the MAC Cool Neutrals palette and take Blackberry on the same brush and I'm actually just popping that into the crease before I start in with the um, Dazzle Shadow and just blending it back and forward. Then I'm using the Azure Shadow Brush, which is just basically a nice sort of flat synthetic brush, which is really perfect for any eyeshadow that's got glitter content. And I'm just using that to pack the colour on all over the lid. It's nice and flat and it's a good size, so I'm able to get a really decent coverage. And as you can see, I'm just kind of sweeping it on and patting it in. And I think it's absolutely amazing. I didn't have any fallout at all. I don't know whether that was anything to do with the base or I don't know, just the shadow in general, but I was really, really pleased with how the shadow applied. Next I'm taking one of my favourite brushes of life which is the Sigma E36 Blending and I'm taking Bon Nuit. This is from the Purple Times 9 palette. It's a really beautiful dark intense purple and I'm just using that on the outer corners of my eyes. Next I'm taking the smudge brush which is the E21 by Sigma and I'm using Silver Fog from the MAC Cool Neutrals palette and I'm just putting that on the inner eye corner just for a bit of brightness before using the Sigma E30 pencil brush and I'm taking Blackberry from the Cool Neutrals palette again and just running this all the way under the eye and I'm taking that right up to Silver Fog and I keep this quite messy under the eye I don't like it to be very fine line I like the colour to be very noticeable I actually want it to look quite smudgy that's how I like my under eye shade to look Next taking the Touch In Soul Style Neon Gel Liner in Lights Out which is the black shade I am lining the entire lower waterline and also along the lash line. I'm not doing any wings or anything because I think it's quite nicely smoked out with the outer corner anyway and I really love how a black liner looks. 
I think it just really defines the eye so I always tend to put a liner on the upper lash line anyway even though it looks quite nice without and I really like this in the lower waterline just because it never seems to stray or smudge it just keeps a nice fine crisp black line and it lasts all day long so it's a really great liner Next I'm taking Lightly Sugared from the MAC Purple Times 9 palette on the Sigma E36 and I'm just running this just on the edge of Blackberry to add a little bit of a brighter hint of purple. I think it just brightens up the edge of the eye look. And then I'm taking this colour called Pick Me Up from the MAC Cool Noodles palette on the Sigma E50 Large Fluff Brush and I've just highlighted under the brow bone with that. It's a nice matte ivory colour. And then I'm using this little sample of the MAC False Lashes Extreme in black. I really like this mascara, it's lovely. I like the wand and I like the application. I don't have very thick lashes, they're actually very fine but they are very long and it just takes quite a lot to be able to define them in any way and this seems to do a pretty good job. Then I decided to go and take the MAC Birds and Berries eyeshadow. This is part of the Liberty of London collection and I'm using the E30 Sigma pencil brush to smudge it just under the outer corner of the eyes on the lower lash line and a little bit into the outer corner and that is what it looks like. I'm really pleased with how the purples and the blue look together. I think it's really pretty. Next onto the rest of the face, I'm taking Breath of Plum, blush by MAC and I'm using the Cheek Finish, the Lux Cheek Finish by Zoeva, which is the 126. I really love this to apply blusher, I think it applies it really nicely and evenly. And then I'm taking the Lux Face Paint, which is the 109, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette and I'm just using the centre shade in the bottom and just defining my um, contour area and then I'm using the highlight from the same palette on the 114 Lux Face Focus Brush and highlighting on my cheeks and a little down my nose before taking Tootsie Liner from Colourpop and Tootsie Lippy Sticks and lining and filling in my lips I like this shade, it's quite nice, it's, it's not a bright shade, it's quite a dusty sort of grey mauve colour. It's a little bit unusual and it looks really quite nice with having a dramatic eye to have a nice sort of almost darker nude lip rather than a light one. I think it works really well. And I totally forgot to do the um, bronzing, so here is the Barry M um, Chisel Cheeks Contour Kit. I'm using that scent shade, as you can see, it's well loved and used. And I'm using the Zoeva Powder Brush, which is the 106. Putting a little on my temples, some into my contour, and down my nose. Just blend it out all over the face, just to add a little bit of colour. So I hope you've enjoyed this look. I really love the, the Dazzle Shadow, I think it's really pretty, as I said it didn't get any fallout and it did last really well throughout the day and I like this colour with the combination with the purple. But thank you very much for watching as always, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. I'm going to love and leave you and see you in my next video. Bye!